my connection to the harmonica w is really important here. I mean, I don't think that I would be a singer without the harmonica. I don't think that I would have been able to express my lyrics without the harp. The harp informed my ear completely, and that was sort of my main means of, of expression, and I developed the songs, the lyrics, and the singing alongside it. And, you know, blues is a vocal music. It comes out of field hollers. It comes out of call and response. The reason the harmonica is, you know, such a great blues instrument is that it's a very, it's a voice unto itself. It's a very vocal instrument. You can bend notes the way you can bend notes with your voice. I try and be traditional in the sense that I adhere to the structure of blues, but I also understand that the real tradition of blues is to explore and to be playful and to bring your own life experience and your own time to the music. That's the tradition. The tradition is to allow the technology of your own time and the rhythm of your own time to inform your music. I think that because I'm a lyricist and I'm a real word guy, that the musical use of, of poetry and of words vis-a-vis -vis people like Bob Dylan and Neil Young and Percy Mayfield. And, and so I think that those poets were a big influence on me. But I'm trying to write about things that, like I say, strike me every day, that move me as a person and I, I tend to write songs not just about personal love between people. I, I do that as well and the genre is very well suited for it but I also write songs about things that are happening in the world and things that move me and that I encounter through my journey and that's sort of my philosophy. A handful of people 